I'm Tara Monster, and I like to make things. Today, I will be releasing some of my retired illustrations from the vault and sharing them with you. Each one of them has a fun little story, and I can't wait to tell you all about them. Okay, thanks for joining me for part two of looking at some of my illustrations over the years. So this little fox is probably one of my favorite old designs. Uh, he is no longer in print, but that is because I replaced him with a new fox design um, that's three foxes and a heart shape, and it's just adorable, but I still miss him. <laughs> Um, you guys are probably pretty familiar with my narwhal design. I started by just drawing one and then um, making a second one, flipping it and putting two in a little heart shape. And now that is actually one of my best selling shirts. We also have a cool sea dragon here. Um, he is another uh, out of print design now. Um, one I'm super excited to share with you is the deer. So um, the deer shirt is still one of my best sellers and I really love it and I think it has to do with kind of all the like work and thought I put into it. Um, so this deer is kind of was inspired by Bambi a little bit and just that he has a lot of other forest friends. And so I just drew the deer first and then I spent some time drawing each individual bird that goes on his antlers. And there's some butterflies around here somewhere that also <laughs> go on there. But yeah, if you look at this design on my website and then imagine all these little birds and his antlers, this is kind of how that came together. <laughs> so again, that's kind of how my process works. I just um, start out sketching in pencil I go over the pencil um, in a micron ink pen so that it doesn't smear. Um, and then I scan the illustrations into my computer, take them into Adobe Illustrator and combine them into the final design. Um, like in this case, I took these birds and I sized them down so that they would fit on his antlers um, in all of the correct places I wanted them to be. Uh, this is another one of my favorite um, shirts that is also out of print. I wear mine a lot. Um, it's just called When Pigs Fly. And it's the idea that, you know, these pigs can actually fly. But then this smart little guy over here, he's, he's figured out a way to fly too. And, uh, you know, th that just has a lot of meaning to me. I'm, I'm definitely this guy over here. <laughs> but you know what? I'm still up there flying with the rest of you, aren't I? <laughs> so that one is pretty great. Uh, this one is another out of print design. I obviously, my nickname's Terra Monster. So I love monsters. And this was actually inspired by um, the sandworm in Beetlejuice, <laughs> you can see him, he's in here. I gave him a few extra eyes, why not, right? And then I also kind of have an obsession with squids and octopus, octopi, octopuses. Uh, <laughs> um, it's the theme of my old uh, store. I used to have monster art and clothing and the squid is in the logo. Um, and I just think they're amazing creatures. I draw them a lot. Uh, this is a uh, circus octopus <laughs> that I made. Um, th this is his little mustache. You can tell better once I filled it in, but um, <laughs> yeah. So they're just, they're one of my favorite creatures. Um, I also used to have a dinosaur themed uh, Burning Man camp. We were an art car camp and our art car was a Triceratops. Tracy the Triceratops. And so this design was inspired by that time in my life. Um, I'm part of a different Burning Man camp now. Um, that was a collaboration between my ex-husband and I. So 
Um, Tracy is no longer, <laughs> and neither is the dinosaur camp, but I've moved on to being a wizard now, and now I'm in a new Burning Man camp called, uh, fuck you, I'm a wizard. Um, and this is a llama that I made into the silly llama corn that you will see on t-shirts on my website now. He's got little hipster glasses on and it's funny because he's a llama corn only because an ice cream cone has fallen on his head and it's kind of dripping down. Um, I couldn't find the ice cream cone, but this is a sketch of the llama. So yeah. Um, again, so that's just some of the little stories, uh, behind, uh, my inspiration for my t-shirt designs. Um, they kind of come from all over the place, you know, like I love camping and hiking, spending time in nature. So a lot of my things are nature and animal inspired, but I also have this like imaginative, whimsical side <laughs> that's magical. And so I love to kind of have that juxtaposition between like fantasy and um, everyday nature and animals. And I also really love to explore, um, the, the dichotomy, um, of nature with humans. And so I do a lot of things where I, you know, personify creatures or I combine elements of industry with nature. Um, like I have a design that's, um, it's a bird, but he's got clockwork inside of him. Um, I have another one that uh, is, a, it's a human rib cage, um, and then there's a bird inside of it. So he's, you know, a caged bird in a rib cage. So stuff like that. I, I just, I love to explore those ideas in my designs. If you enjoyed today's illustrations, please be sure to check out my website, revivalinc.com. I'll put the link below in the description where you will find all of my brand new nature inspired illustrations printed on t-shirts and sweatshirts for men, women, and kids. Also, if you liked today's video, please smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can get a new video every day. Thanks and see you soon. Bye.